our channel. It's Meet the Albers. As you know, we missing a little Albert, but. So it's just the two of us tonight. It's just the two of thing. us. We can make it if we try. Just, just the, the two, two of us. us. You yeah. and I. <laughs> so, I'll tell y'all what we about to do, y'all. We got this seafood mukbang right here that we're going to be trying out. From where? This is from Crazy Crab off of Telegraph in Detroit. Y'all don't know y'all. Come out of Detroit. Try it. We're going to review it for y'all. We have never tasted it. And we have this wine that we're going to also try out. It's called St. Julian's Cherry Wine made with 100% real cherries. They say it's sweet, so we're going to see how sweet it is. Yes. So Period. we got we got corn in here, we got eggs in here, we got crab, and we got shrimp, of course, shrimp. <laughs> so we gonna get down to it, and we gonna let y'all know how everything tastes. Give our food review. But while we're eating, we're going to tell you a story time, y'all. <laughs> this is gonna be our first story time, and it's gonna be about how I thought. Wait, wait, my okay. So it's gonna be. Plus, I can say it. When I thought that him, he, him, his, him. it's going to be about when I thought that I thought he went to engage. Said, you were my fiance at the time. <laughs> when I That's thought that sad. this man right here was going to propose to me, my okay? I had it made up in my mind that he was about to propose to me. So, it's going to be that story time, okay? So, you know, he got his side and I got my side, but we're going we gonna to try to put it together. So, let's go ahead and put them gloves on. Okay, so we got our gloves on. You know, we, we ready. We ready. That's Pour some wine, doing. baby. Let me open it up first. I'm going to show y'all what it looked like before we did it. Because this stuff, look, scrumptious. I'm going to lift it up because I know y'all can't see it like that. They ain't going to be able to see it. <laughs> the way I do it. Okay, no. Oh. Y'all see it? We're going to zoom in for it. Oh, we're on the same page. I'm just going to show y'all what it looks like. See it the smoke good. coming out. Yeah, that smoke was rich. coming out, baby. Okay, God. now pour in some wine. I think it was some potatoes in there. Should have put the pour in some wine. Fuck with the glue. <laughs> so, these wine glasses are special wine glasses. These are wine glasses that we ordered. That says the day that we got married. So, it says, Kira and Antoine. 9 That's our day. Don't forget it. 9 28 19. <laughs> We're going to see what this hitting like. I'm scared. This is why you're supposed to pour it like the restaurant. Pouring and sitting down is not the way to do it. You're supposed to do it standing up. But you live and you learn. We're not at a restaurant, so. I'm going to be a lack of that. I ain't drunk nothing all day. You acting like you did. Making a mess. I'm out dry, dry. <laughs> and hard. I ain't ate nothing. Let's, let's try the wine before we put the food in our mouth. Let's try that. Love you, baby. Love you. No! <laughs> <laughs> Got it, y'all. <laughs> no. You try to get me first. Mm -hmm. You go ahead. Be honest. Is it bitter? No, it's bitter. I mean, of course it's No, I know, I know. You told me I ain't have to worry about it. I knew it. It smelled a little bitter. Go ahead. Never said it wasn't going to taste a little bit. Wine is always bitter, no matter what kind of wine you get. But this tastes better than the stuff. Yeah, yeah don't go get this wine. Sweet. Don't go get this. I'm getting this again. Because this ain't going to last. It's already about halfway gone. I guess it's, it's pretty kind of It's pretty kind of good. It's okay. It ain't. She just don't want to give my pride. It's not all. sweet, like. Ugh. Okay. So on to the actual. Food. Let's get into this. That's a, still hot, so we. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Out. With the head on. Ugh. Why do I have to with the head on? Why didn't she tell me to just? She ain't never had a real actual prayer to eat. It's always just, you know, been cut up and prepared for her to store away. So she got to take the eyes and the body out to get to the shrimp. Okay, I didn't know it was no eyes on her. Come on now. 
When you want crazy crab, always ask for no eyes and no body, no legs, just straight shrimp. And you will be putting in some Why work. would anybody even want that? So wait a minute, I'm not supposed to eat this, right? You what? Ugh. That's part of you right there. Okay. Okay. How was it? That's good. Mm. Sorry, dog. I do this to you. Mm. You know, that's crazy how um, crabs actually look like this under water. And they be walking with their little legs like that. That's why I don't do that. It's real crazy. Let me see that. I'm gonna I'm get my sister because she's the one who told me. She the one who told me um how to get this. I don't want to work to eat. I want to eat. <laughs> I don't want to do nothing. That's what crab is. You got to work to get to the crab and you got to work to get to the shrimp. This is how it's actually, this is how seafood boys are actually made in the southern states. Why is it so place. far away? Like, I don't understand. Like, we in Detroit, we eat it with the shrimp already prepared the way we like it. But see, down south, this is the way that they eat it. Just like this. So we actually eating it the way we personally want to eat it. This is so hard to do, but... Um, Okay, go on and tell them how to start the story, baby. Let me see if he's food in my mouth. I ain't ate. I'm gonna let you talk so I can eat. Dang. What am I gonna eat? I'm gonna do a challenge. Squirting everywhere. Squirting everywhere. By the time I get this skin out right there. I don't know how people do it with this. This is the eye I need with this one. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Died and not even fooled the wet gloves with it. For real, for real. I could have been done with this shrimp. There you go. I'm crying. So about the story, this is around holidays, this was Christmas. around December, this is on Christmas. Christmas Day. So we were just sitting around, you know, as we have to, we open our presents and everything. We were sitting around the house hanging. We had nothing to do, so we decided we were going to take Christmas pictures. We we had um, bootleg our Christmas pictures. We used some wrapping paper and I taped it to the wall. I we take it to a, the wall. We had a, uh, differences of opinions. She said that taping some wrapping paper to the wall in the bathroom was a much better picture than actually going to campus marshes where the actual big tree is in Detroit. If y'all don't know, it's a big huge tree we put up every year. On Christmas time, downtown Detroit and campus marshes. So she said that putting up wallpaper in the bathroom is a much better background for Christmas than actually being up under the actual big Christmas tree downtown. So, I said we're going to do it her way, and then we're going to do it my way. Now, mind you, it is very cold outside on Christmas Day, snowing, and we're going downtown where everybody else is, of course, at, because, you know, they have the skate with downtown and everything. So, everybody's already downtown. we at the house. So, after we took our pictures with the backdrop in the bathroom, we got dressed and went downtown. Frigid cold, and... We got there, walked around, had to walk all the way to the actual tree from our parking spot. We oh. sorry for the parking spot too. Cause you know, everybody was down there, so we had to park somewhere way off How in the corner somewhere. How am I supposed to get this off? So once we get downtown and we get there, we realized that we had to walk all the way to the tree. And once we got there, we saw the skating rink, we walked around. 
So I take our pictures. We had to wait till other uh, people start walking around so we can take our pictures. Tell about how our wigs went on. So once we after we got done doing the pictures, and I started bending uh, the first time I had been down. But once I started to bend down, I've been down twice. And then bend down tie my shoe because. So when I bend down to tie my shoe, because I had these timbers on that they weren't never always tied, they would always be loose and they would always untie every five minutes. So I had to keep doing it all the time. How would you tie it? Tied it a regular way. Anybody else tied it? Just kept being loose. I think it was the shoelaces to be honest, but that's neither here nor there. So when I bend down, every time I bend down, she would think that I was going to engage her. I mean, because it's a special scene. You're talking about Campus marshes, y'all. The middle of campus marshes, everybody watching. Big huge like on Christmas Day. How was that feeling? So like he had said, he said that he said that he was oh, he been down. So I'm thinking like I'm thinking in my mind like, oh my God. Oh my god, he about to propose to me. He about to he about to do it. Oh my god, this is it. And I'm like, okay. And then when I said he just got down and tied his shoes up and he got back up, like, you want to take another picture? I was like, damn. <laughs> I, I, got, like, I got so mad. Like, I was like, okay. I'm thinking, my head, okay, maybe the right not, maybe not right here. Maybe he want to make it, like, a little more personal. Like, he going to take me to another area or something. So, where we go, we walked around the Christmas tree. And then, like, my wig, we had, I forgot what happened, but my wig had ended up sliding, like, kind of off. And it was like, okay, you didn't really want nobody to notice you. So we had, I had asked this random um, guy. He's just a random guy. Yeah, I asked. That's down at Captain Marshall. Yeah, I had asked a, a random guy if he can, I'll pay him like, because he was on the X for like money Ooh, or whatever. So I had asked him for like, um, I had asked him for like, I said, I'll give you $5 if you can, um, if you will. So I had asked him like, I pay, I told him I'd pay him like $5 if he could hold his jacket up so that I can. Throw my wig back on without, you know, people knowing what I was really doing. And so he had did that. And, like, it was, it was just so funny because it was embarrassing because we was in an area, like, where everybody was at. And then we went to another area, right? What area did we go to? We went to, um... Went to this little... It, it looked like, like woods you could walk through. And they had, like, different lights you could just walk down because we were trying to find the, um... Place to serve uh, hot cocoa because it was cold out there. Everybody was serving hot cocoa. Was, uh, anything hot, like hot, anything to you know keep people warm, they were serving that stuff out there. So we were trying to find something to warm us up. So we went by the little forest part and went by the skating rink. No, that wasn't by the skating rink. We had what left from over there. We was like in this area where remember they, you you stick your head through it like they had different Santa Claus stuff and like you stick your head through it. Yeah, we had went up. Part. Yeah, we had went over there. And he had kind of walked a little farther ahead of me because I had to stop you, all right? Yeah. Because I had to uh, stop. I had wanted to stop and look at something. I was doing something. And so when I had finally turned around. Probably shocked her. Right. <laughs> when I finally turned around and I saw he was down on one knee. I said, this is it, y'all. I'm thinking in my head like, this is it. But at the same time, I'm like, dang, he going to do this without my family, without his family. Like. I guess he must really wanted it to just be like me and him, like, you know. So, but I was like, dang, you know. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't care. They'll find out, you know. And so, the reason why he was on his knee was because he had, he was like, Sudi, that's what they called me. Like, Sudi, take my picture. When I tell you, and I took it, I did not even want to take his picture. But I took his picture, and he got on up. Like, okay, let's try to find some hot cocoa plants. When I tell you I was pissed, when I tell you I was pissed, I was hurt. I was like, okay, so I'm thinking in my mind, like, I don't want to let him know, you know, what I'm thinking that he about to do in case he do do it. So sometimes I was like, don't say nothing. Just be quiet. Just wait, you know. So we go get the hot cocoa. You know, like, it's freezing cold outside. We go get the hot cocoa, and yet he still didn't do it. We got back in the car on our way back home. So I got an attitude. I got a mad, mad attitude. But I ain't say nothing to him, though. I said something like, just be quiet. Be quiet. So we get home, then what, babe? Tell him. So the whole time we, you know, getting the hot cocoa and everything, in my head, I'm like, yeah, 
Mine was better. You know, we did it in person. I did trees way better than some wallpaper in the bathroom. So to me, it was like a little bit. Which picture was better. And we even had Facebook that day. Oh, whose picture looked better? And everybody was like, yeah. I find the Capish Marcus. I don't better. remember that part. So, we got back home. You know, we told our um, family. We went down there and told them what happened down there and all that. So, you know, it's Christmas time. You know, Christmas movies is on. Her favorite movie is the original Home Alone, the first one. Period. Mine was the Santa Claus story, the Chris Kringle one. It's like these little clay people, or they like wooden, whatever, but it's, it's like stop motion. If y'all don't know what that movie is, it's a good movie. Go we'll look it up. Look at that movie with the ice, uh, Heat Miser, Heat Miser, and the, uh, the ice, ice King. But we had watched her movie first, but you know, just being a gentleman. I let her go for it. I go, you go watch her movie. Even though she watches the movie all the time, I barely watch mine like that. But we watched her movie, she ain't say nothing. I like she was doing time. Mind you, we had already opened our presents. You know, she already knew what she had and everything like that. I mean, I'm talking about I went all out for this girl right here. You talking about purses, jewelry, shoes, clothes. She got it good on Christmas. You know? I mean, and I say I, I, I saying I got it good. I woke like up that, but I did. I ain't gonna I wasn't. I wasn't like you know. I wasn't like. What I get you for Christmas? Did I get you a phone? Yeah, my phone and uh, speaker. Was that that year? Yeah. Yeah. She had a, uh, a Bluetooth speaker. It was like a big, like, you know how DJs use their speakers and all that, like microphones and all that. So she got me that and, and uh, a brand new phone so I can pair it with the speaker and all that. So, you know, I, I mind, you know, when I do my thing, when I mind, I just carry the speaker because she was like, oh, you got to go to this place and have these ranky old radio, janky old CDs and all that. She said, I'm going to get you a speaker. So you just can't do it outside or whatever. You can do it right. So I said, thank you. That was very nice of you. You're welcome, baby. So after we watched uh, her movie, it's time for my movie. Now, Mike, I had to pay for my movie because Home Alone was always free around Christmas. Mine was a super old movie that you always had to pay for because that movie don't come on every year like that because it's a very old movie. So we had to pay for it. We went back and forth about that. I ain't about to pay for no old movie like that. I'm trying to find it for free. Mike, I didn't know that you know my phone played free movies like that at that time. So we ended up paying for it. Not even five minutes into the movie, I'm sitting there watching it. And all I see is great. It paused. What's going on? So she looked dead at me. She go, so you don't love me? And in my head, I'm like, what you mean? I don't love you. I just bought you all this stuff. We just went to Captain Marshall. We just spent the whole Christmas together, which is. <coughs> you all right? <coughs> you all right? <coughs> 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 No, without a roll pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a shit nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so you good? No, without a roll pipe. Let me tell you, you shouldn't make nobody laugh when they choke them. What is? I have a habit of doing. But mm. let me see if she already know y'all. But we gotta tell you the story. <coughs> Ooh, it's like it's still there. <sighs> While I was watching it, like I said, five minutes into my movie plan, <clears throat> she paused it. I'm like, what's up? She turned to me and said, you don't love me? I'm like, what you mean? Twine. That's what you, that's what you call She's like, you should be serious. She's like, Twine. You know, I thought you was going to propose to me today. <laughs> and in my head, you know how, you know how, how me and I would be like, you know, I thought you were going to propose to me. And me be like. And then they here, they already got it, you know, that planned out when they're going to do it. You know, they be, they go all out, have it special and all that. So in their mind, they thinking when they take you somewhere, women be like, if they take you anywhere special, they think that they about to, you know, engage and everything. But I had already planned. So I'm like, nah, I, I, I said, why did you think that? She was like, because you kept getting down on your knee. I'm like, no, nah, I had to tie my shoe. And so she was getting real upset every time I said it, because she really was like, I really can't believe that he did not propose to me on that day. And in my head, I'm like, I, I, 
I didn't know I was, you know, supposed to. That's that's how I be thinking. I didn't know I was supposed to do it on that day. You know, I kept telling like I thought it was just the men's day to pick it. And, you know, they, they plan it out and they do it like that. I eventually did it on a very good day. Don't get me wrong. I ended up doing it on her birthday. But, you know, I told her, you know, I'm sorry I didn't, you know, know it like that. But I eventually was like, you know, but you said I'm sorry and everything. But she was still pissed, y'all. Uh, like, I was motherfucking pissed. She was like, Twan, hey. you can take all that shit that you bought <laughs> and take it back. Now, this... This girl is known for taking stuff back, but this time she wanted me to take all this stuff back. Take all this shit back <laughs> and buy me a ring. <laughs> That's basically what she said. Like I, everything I just bought her earlier that she said was so beautiful, so nice, Twine. Thank you. Fuck all that shit. Take all that back. I don't basically said she don't want it. all she wanted is a ring. <laughs> but she eventually got both. But you know the man had, he was like, take all this stuff back. He was like, I just dropped all this cash on you. And you want me to take all this stuff back. And get you a rap. She was pissed. Because ladies, man, I need to know this. I've been with him <clears throat> for ten plus years, y'all. Um, I mean, we went through the whole phase, y'all. Like when I say phase, I mean like we was friends, best friends, <clears throat> high school sweetheart. You know, we went once the time high school. But he's my high school sweetheart. Took me to prom, everything. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, we went like together. Like, officially together for 10 years. But we've been knowing each other for 10 plus years. <laughs> but by that time, we had been together for a very, we had been together for a very long time. So I'm like, at this point, you're going to eat the shit and get off the pot. <laughs> I mean, and that's how us like this be feeling. You're going to shit or get off the pot. You're going to put a ring on it. Are you going to get off the pot? Are you going to put a ring on it? Or you going to get, you got to get, get the fuck on. Like, that's just what it is. So... I, it's not, I mean, I know that I should should not have <laughs> been expecting that, but it's a special day, so that's when most people would do it, you know? So, I mean, was that wrong? Yeah, you were. <laughs> Fellas, <laughs> let y'all know something. Tell y'all ladies. When they expect something or assume something, you never do it on the day that they assume. You do it on the day that they don't expect it, because if they expect it, it's not special. See, I do it when you least expect it. And when it feels special. And so, basically, I ended up doing it the right way. Because, you know, us fellas, we plan stuff out. Y'all seen that episode of Martin? When he got down on one knee, had Brian McKnight come out of no, out the bushes, y'all, for real. Where my Brian McKnight was? And saying, where my tank? Where my tank was? Like, come on. Where my Jamie Foxx at? Like, come on. I'm all that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you are, baby. Let me get I'm I want that. So with me singing, that's that says no comparison to them lames. So anywho, <laughs> episode of Martin, you know, I, I watch Martin all the time. So when I seen that episode, I said, yeah, you got to do it. If you're going to do it, fellas, you got to go all out and do it right. And that's what I told myself when I said the day that I was going to propose to her, I was going to make sure I knew it right. And if, you know what the crazy part is? I did have somebody come out and sing. You did? Okay, yeah. All because of Martin. If I would have never seen that. It probably wouldn't even happen. But I said, you know what? You got to do a bid. And he came. He sang. Good friend of mine came and sang. What he sing? He sang Ribbon in the Sky. Yes, That's a good song. And he, I, I he, just he, had somebody else do a sing for her. I'm always getting somebody to sing for her. Yes. I'm waiting, I'm waiting on somebody to come sing to me. Though, and she's going to get it. Maybe. I'll sing shit. for you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> See, I know how to make a laugh. <laughs> you so irritating. <laughs> Well, anyway, yeah, I just got her a cigarette from um, for Paul Johnson Jr. He did. What, what song did he do? So that's yeah, she remembers since I since I got it for her. So she said it was. You don't remember? Don't put that on me. I do know. I do. I do know. What's the name of the song? Gloria. You remember that? Nah, one? what's the first one? He's. Uh, I asked you first. Before right, you know the second <laughs> one. She don't know neither. What's the first one? They got mad. They got mad. Right. Uh, we didn't even first one. Me. First one was a. Uh, Well, both of them were Stevie Wonder, actually. Actually, I'm not the other one. I don't know both of them were Stevie Wonder. Yeah, they were. Oh, you, uh, what was it, um... You gonna eat this potato? No. <laughs> you gonna eat the... I'm gonna eat something in there. 
I'm okay, playing when I, I talk. I this is her time to eat. So I, I ain't got no time to eat when she talks. I, 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 I eat this a little bit. I, eat I this. got to get in when I, I fit in, this. or I it ain't this. gonna be in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I can't talk Here. at the same time. I'm trying to eat dollars off for sure. Oh, okay, okay. You trying to say the crap for yourself? I know crap. Ladies, y'all got to learn to share now. We share. Got okay, to okay. learn to share. So go on and tell her how to meet in the night. So after I was pissed, <clears throat> I told him to take all that shit back and go get me a ring. We end up, how do we end up ending that night? Fellas, <laughs> I'm gonna let you know. I tell you how we ended up ending the night. We ended up getting a two year old boy. <laughs> so that's how we ended the night. That is crazy. Because it was around that exact time. That is crazy. That we uh, conceived one. So, fellas, <laughs> when, your, when your woman say, I thought you were going to propose to me, just give her a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it evens out. So, I didn't know that, though. It evens out. We didn't baby. know. It was God definitely knew. unexpected. God knew. So, God say, look, she keep begging for a ready to give her a baby. I want back. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> Pause. Wait, no, I, I what? I was begging. Yeah, twine. Take all. When somebody said, "Take all this shit back," that's begging. Cause you, you ain't care about none of the shit I bought. You just said, "But I was begging though." That's what sound like. Oh, okay. If I say, "Take all my shit back and buy me a PS5, no. fellas," I, I really want a PS5. That's not begging though. That's just saying that you just want it. I want. That's begging, a but fuck you anything else. I want this that right ain't here. Ain't begging though. That's not begging. I want this right here. And if I don't get it. Basically, she said, what she just said, get, if you can't get off the, uh, if you can't shit, get off the pot. If I don't get it, hit the curve. Now, me, I ain't going to say no if I don't get no PS5. Hit the because curve. Because that, that ain't the same thing as a the commitment. Pot. It's not the same thing. Like, we can go, this, a, this, this, it's not even up for debate. You can be loyal with a PS5. I, yeah. But that's the story. At the end of the day, I got my ring. We together. We happy. She's not wearing it right now because of the uh, stuff on the hands. We ain't wanna. We was gonna wear them though. Just to let y'all know. We wasn't gonna not wear them because it's a special movie. I mean, a special video. We wasn't gonna not wear them for this video, y'all. So the review on it, is this something to yell home about, to be honest? No. Uh, is it something I would get again? No. This? I think it was good. I just think I don't. Minus the crab. I don't think I want the crab. I think if I had just the corn. Eggs and shrimp without the body and head, and um, some sausage. I, I think I eat it up. Cook it and or have my sister cook it because this. Yeah. Nah, if you cook it, it's best to just cook stuff at home. To be honest, you know your seasoning, you know what you want on it, you know how you wanted it prepared. So, so you're not gonna eat this corn then? No, I told you I wanted one. Oh, I eat the corn. That's why you was making so long because you said you wanted. You told Christian you wanted four pieces. Four time pieces. Don't tell my business. Four pieces. Ugh, and this is for the decade. You might want to like this. And in the case of the wine review, it's okay. I'm not a wine drinker like that, so I'm not. I'm not gonna ever gonna taste my wine and be like, oh my god, y'all got to have this wine. This better wine. You probably right one you will. Mm. I'm not drinking like that. Like anything alcohol, I ain't gonna be like, oh my god. Please, we was in Miami. Okay. I gotta buy it. I gotta have it in my house. No. I ain't never said I got to have it in my house in my mm -hmm. I said it was good, but I ain't say it was that good for me okay. to have it in my house. Okay. So, at the end of the day, I like seafood. <clears throat> she loves seafood, as you can tell. We're going to review some more. What should we review next? Stay tuned. <clears throat> If you want y'all want to give us some suggestions. Yeah, what you want to see on our channel? Of a restaurant that y'all think is real nice in Detroit or, you know, Michigan. We'll go out and review it and see how it tastes. I'll let y'all know. I'll let y'all know. But thank you all so much for watching our channel, watching our video. Make sure you all subscribe to our channel because we didn't mention that. We got right into it. Subscribe and hit the bell to receive what? Notifications. Hey. Hey, no. <laughs> Um, so that that's all right, babe. So for now. So stay tuned. Peace. Peace from the channel.